Winter definitely came last night when we talk about AEW Dynamite. This was definitely a Dynamite to remember. Whether you're talking about the debut of a certain WWE Hall of Famer, you're talking about a certain collaboration between Impact and AEW, the Diamond Ring Battle Royal, the mini implosion of the inner circle, or just an amazing title main event. We have so much to talk about. And must I say, I agree with all of you. We started 2020 with the return of Edge, and now we have Sting debuting in AEW. This was one hell of a dynamite. We're going to review it right now on this episode of Kimmy Talks Wrestling, starting right now. So, there is so much to talk about when we get to Dynamite, but I am going to start with what started the show, which was the Diamond Ring Battle Royal. So, I did not know that, like, it was going to lead to a match. Like, I thought last year MJF just, like, threw him over the top rope and it was over. I don't know. Um, So, Adam Page was eliminated really early, so I don't know if this is hinting at the fact that he may be joining a certain cult with people who wear masks and have numbers. Um, They've been hinting on BTE a lot. Actually, on this past Monday's episode, like, they were all, like, making John Silver and Anna Jay feel better because they both lost last week. And, like, Adam was, like, kind of looking in being like, hmm, maybe, maybe. And I think that'd be such a good move for Adam just because, you know, he really isn't doing anything right now. It's, like, it's cool because then he could like feud with everyone in the elite. Hint, hint. And and now the Kenny Champion, you could do Kenny and Adam for the title. Oh my god. Uh so Adam was eliminated early. Miro looked super strong, but what we're hinting at with the implosion of the inner circle, which I don't know why they're gonna do it. I hope they don't do it so early. Cause like that's scary. But MJF eliminates Sam Guevara. Now, if you've been following along with this, Sammy and MJF have not gone in along. You know, the whole thing with the jacket, the whole thing with um, they were supposed to meet when they announced that they were going to Vegas. They're supposed to be on the beach, and then Sammy didn't get the email about meeting at the arena. So this is super interesting. I'm really excited to see where they do go from here. But it does lead next week to Orange Cassidy versus MJF for the ring. Um, I think Orange Cassidy should definitely get it. I think 2020 has really been a breakout year for him, and I know that, like, it makes MJF's character because he does use that ring in a lot of his matches, but when it comes to Cassidy, I feel like he just needs it more. He needs that kind of edge to kind of bring him to an end of a great 2020. I definitely see him getting a shot at the TNT title when it comes to Revolution. I definitely see him challenging Kenny for the world title when you get around maybe like double or nothing or something. But I love Art Cassidy. I think he's the future of the business. I feel like we've done a great job establishing that to keep the ball rolling. And now we get into Chris Jericho and where everything just exploded. So when it comes to so Jericho and Kazarian, you know, it was a really good match. And so Jericho was losing, and MJF comes out with this white towel. And if you remember, this is what happened with Cody, which is why Cody cannot challenge the world title anymore because MJF was out there, and then he threw in the towel for Cody, and he screwed him over. So MJF was about to do the same thing. And the inner circle comes out and they're like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? You're not about to screw him over. This is ridiculous. And now they're like, look, Chris, look, Chris, he was going to throw in the white towel for you. Look at this. And then Jericho got so mad because now everyone is fighting. Um, so it's going to lead to something next week. I forgot exactly what they called it. I think it's like the inner circle's ultimatum. I could be wrong. Um, but I'm intrigued. Because I, like, I don't know if this is hinting at something bigger, but I feel like you need MJF to, like, be on the same page with people in the inner circle for a while. Like, I don't know. Maybe you could have, like, like, shocking. MJF and Sammy Guevara wouldn't tag team titles. <laughs> like, do something like that. So, like, they look like they're on the same page. So when MJF does take over the inner circle and he does turn on Jericho, it turns to something bigger, which is what I want to see. But other than that, I thought this was a good segment. I love Jericho's jacket, like the gold with like the 
Spike's Adam. I thought it was super cool. Um, I don't understand how Jericho and Kazarian are literally, like, Kazarian's in his early 40s and Jericho's in his 50s and they can have that good of a match. But, oh, my God. Like, way to go, people. And now we're going to get into a sting. Oh, my God. I was so excited. So, it was Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks versus Cody Rhodes and Darby Allen. And the match ended in a DQ, right? And so Hobbs is beating, and, like, Brian Cage came out, and, like, Brian and Ricky are holding Cody, and Darby's down, and Hobbs is beating up, and the lights go out. So I had originally thought, because if you've been following social media, Kenta was kind of hinting at Dynamite. So I was like, ooh, you know, since he's, like, the number one contender for Moxley's U.S. title, ooh, imagine – um, and the lights go out, and you're like, who's coming, who's coming, who's coming? And it's, it just pops up, sting. And you're like, oh, my God, it's happening. And he comes out. The snow is falling, which was kind of funny because it's in Florida. But you know it's cold in Florida. So he comes out, and he just stares at Cody, and he stares at Darby. Um, this is really exciting. I do not believe he's wrestling um, because of the injuries that he sustained not because of a certain someone um but I believe he's going to be the manager to Darby I think he's going to be in his corner kind of how Arn is to Cody which would be super cool I think he's going to be kind of that mentor for the younger talent and I just think this is a huge grab for AEW like this is something they needed I feel like they really do know how to utilize their legends such as Taz and Arn Anderson and DVP and like unlike WWE where they just like oh yeah we're just gonna stick him here for no reason so I'm really excited I can't wait to see what happens Wednesday I think they're gonna announce I don't think they're gonna announce on Tuesday but he signed like a multi-year deal so yay you go Sting and now for the main event Whew. So I'm going to break it down to two parts because, you know, we do things by fives now. So I'll break it down to the match and then what happened afterwards. So this was a really good match. And when you go into, like, what Khan had said Tuesday in his, like, interviews, he had openly said that, you know, if it went past 10, they were going to go, like, you know, they were going to show it on TNT. So that hinted, like, hmm, maybe it is going to go past 10. Maybe you are going to get, like, a 60-minute draw. You're going to get a DQ. You're going to get something like that because everyone was, like, Free TV, they're going to change the title? What? So, just so everyone knows, Don Callis was with TNA. It was on commentary. Again. So, match is going on. And it was so good. From start to bottom, Moxley and Ambrose have so much chemistry. Oh, my God. Um, they showed that with their feud in 20 yeah last year no uh, yeah last year I was right <laughs> they showed that in the feud last year they showed that this year this was such a hard hitting match and um Kenny took a hard fall Don gets off commentary and he's like he's hurt he's hurt and he's like distracting the refs and you know he's on the mic and that leaves Moxley no that leaves Omega to hit him with the mic and you know, he hits the V-trigger, and he wins. So now everyone's like, hmm, what is this leading to? And, oh, my God, we're gaining a collaboration. This is crazy. So so they're running out, and poor Alex Marvez, and I was literally crying because when they said, like, you'll have to figure out, you'll have to tune in on Tuesday to figure it out, Alex was like, but dynamite's on Wednesday. And you're like, buddy. So, but technically, like, dark's on Tuesday. So, like, there's technically an AEW show on Tuesday. But, you know, everyone knew they were talking about Impact. This is huge because you have now two promotions that are kind of teaming up to go against NXT, to go against Vince. That's, oh my God. I am so excited. Just like the dream mashups, like Motor City Machine Gun versus the Young Bucks, like 10 years later. Oh my God. Or like Jordan Grace versus Sheeta or like Britt Baker. Oh, I am so excited. This is huge. Um, I'm so excited to see what the official announcement is. Like, 
is any AEW town allowed to go to TNA? Is TNA, like, how that's all going to work? But um, it's funny. So I actually started out watching TNA. I didn't start out watching WWE. So I kind of watched wrestling backwards in a sense because you're supposed to start with WWE and, like, work your way. But I started with TNA and worked my way and branched off. So I'm watching Impact for, like, the first time in 10 years, which is insane. Um, but I guess we're going to have to start re- – we're going to start reviewing TNA, too which is, you know, cool. So yeah, I thought last night was basically the best Dynamite all year. (laughs) Um, You know, the future of wrestling is looking great. Like, you never know what's going to happen. Khan definitely made up for what he said a couple weeks ago when he was like, oh my god, the landscape wrestling is going to change and Pac comes out. Like, this changed it. Um, But yeah, good Dynamite episode. Good job. All around. So, make sure to like this video, comment what your reaction was to anything that happened last night. It could be something I didn't talk about at all. Um, or, you know, what you think is going to happen with Impact and AEW, Sting. Um, make sure to subscribe, click that bell for notifications. I will see you tomorrow for my NXT working predictions. And, I, and then I will see you Saturday for my SmackDown review. And then... I think Monday I'm going to do Tribute to the Troops and War Games, so it's going to be two separate videos, and then we're going to start the week all over. But yeah, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Kimmy underscore WB, and follow me on Instagram at Kimmy Talks Wrestling, and I will see you guys tomorrow for our, our NXT War Games predictions. We're going to war, guys. Let's get hyped.